We demand that foreign workers can speak English. Interesting. I'm happy to say that I'm joined uh, by equalities lawyer Eunice Lunat to talk about this more. So, uh, Eunice, um, you've got experience, haven't you, of language barriers. Would you say that that's a negative thing or a positive thing? I think the most important thing is the ability to do the job. Um, it helps, yes, it helps if you speak the language, uh, but uh, above all, the important factor is the ability to do the job. Uh, look, where I work, I've worked in many, many places. Uh, we, we keep talking about integration. I mean, I use the example of a Christmas Christmas meal. Everywhere I've worked, there's been many colleagues that just haven't bothered, cannot be bothered to attend the Christmas meal. Now, that was a foreign worker, so somebody like me, I'd be accused of lack of integration. OK, so you, you think that that's... It's, but the problem here, though, is so, for example, they might be really good at the job, but if they can't speak English then that's not going to be great for those around them if they need to communicate. So would it be bad if we were putting that as a, one of the main criteria for people who want to uh, work in... The, the, the issue we have at the moment, the issue we have at the moment is the lack of uh, workers. We, we need workers. It, brings, it takes me back to the first generation, like when my father, when my parents did. They couldn't speak the language. But you pick up the language and you adapt and you develop. And as a result of my father coming here, not being able to speak much English, being able to get by, I'm a product of that effort and that integration. And here I am. And my brother, my brothers, no, we're all professional. Uh, and there's uh, many like us. If we put these barriers in place, then we as a society, we as a nation are not going to progress. What would you say to people, though, uh, so given your experience at school, um, but if the numbers are enough, it could affect those in the classes. So imagine in the classroom, if a lot of the kids can't speak the language, it'll hold some of the other kids back. Do you think that that's a, a valid argument? Will it? I mean, I, I go back to my school. At my school, we had a class where foreign nationals that came who could not speak English were all lumped in one class. And it reminded you of mind your language. But the product of some of those class, classes, some of the children in those classes were of remarkable, very good ability and have gone on to do very, very well once they got to grips with the language. Uh, I went to school, when I, started, when I went to school, I couldn't speak English. I could speak very little English. But it, it's the effort and the ability to get on and do the job. Language is something that people pick up. Unfortunately, it's something that we British are very reluctant and slow to pick up, and hence we probably judge people coming here by our own abilities and our own willingness to adapt and integrate when we go away. So you're sort of saying that we English people we can't be bothered to learn other people's languages, so why should they bother to learn ours? No, I, I kind of... Well, that's wrong, isn't it? That's wrong, isn't it? Most people that come here actually pick up the language, and I say probably have a better command of the language and grammar than many of our local uh, people here. But what about, the, what about the fact that, you know, in the end you might end up with almost ghettos of people in different factions speaking their language, which is often what happens, and they don't integrate within the wider culture of this country, so it can be quite divisive? Um, well, what, 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 what is integration? I mean, when you say ghettos... We don't say when we go to Magaluf or Benidorm, we don't say they because we want to stick to our own. We don't label those as ghettos. It is, it is ingrained, it is natural that people will drift towards their own. But you know, integration is a two-way process. I was on not so long ago, and I talked about integration, and I talked about a lot of the work that I'm involved in, that I was involved in integration. But what I see is, I don't see people that are complaining about a lack of integration taking efforts to actually aid that integration process. You know, I, I, I would ask, every, for, the, for every person that says that foreign people are not integrating, I would ask them, what steps have you taken in the last two or three years, last five years, to actually aid that integration process? What have you done to aid that integration process? Yeah, I mean, it's true. They could, that's, that's true. But I think when you um, go to somebody else's land or country, then it, the onus is probably a lot on you to try and get involved in the culture as well. Obviously, 
you, you've been invited to their land, so it is, it is a good thing for you to try and get yourself involved in what they are doing. In, Absolutely. On a, on a practical level, though, whilst this is all very nice, on a practical level, um, is, is it actually something that is, it will actually, is a problem? Because in the workplace, if you've got people who can't speak the language, it can be a problem. Potentially, yes. But what I'm saying is people will learn the language, will develop and will integrate. Everybody I know that has come into a workplace that could not command the language very well has gone on to learn that language better than we do when we go abroad. You know, that's what I'm saying is if we are not going to adjust and give people that opportunity, then as a nation, we are not going to progress. We are going to get left behind in the global competitive world. That's all I'm saying. I, 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 just to make it a prerequisite, we're putting ourselves at a disadvantage. Because most people, people that come here will, will learn the language. Mm -hmm. But that could be a strain on resources. But I hear you, Eunice. Thank you so much for talking to us. That's Eunice. You're welcome. Lynette.